For little under a year, Ngong in Kenya has been the home of a select group of refugee athletes. The group is made up of runners from war-torn regions of South Sudan, Ethiopia, the Congo and Somalia. Many have lost friends, family, their homes and their country. But last year, they were offered an opportunity to change their lives forever. These are the athletes of the Tegla Larup Peace Foundation. The Tegla Larup Refugee Athlete Training Centre was opened in 2015 by Kenyan marathon running legend Tegla Larup. Supported by the IOC and UNHCR, the aim of the camp was to train young refugee athletes to potentially compete at the Olympic Games in Rio. We thought that the refugees uh, communities in Kenya have a lot of talent and what they're lacking is a facility and opportunity to, to be able to, to achieve their goals. We started this camp in October 2015. So right now we have 30 refugee athletes. So the camp is made out of refugees and they come from different countries, Ethiopia, Congo, Somali and from South Sudan. And these people are just here together to train for the Olympics and the first I say this is a unique situation because it has never happened that a refugee team is representing the IOC. And when we know that, for example, 67 million people are refugees, I think they deserve it to be also represented in the Olympics. Actually, the meaning for me to have these people as a refugee uh, uh, athletes that I'm supporting, I see that anybody can be a refugee. You or me, but somebody met them to be the way they are. So I was thinking, how am I going to help these people to open their doors? For me as Tegla, I believe that the role of sports can bring peace where there is issues. Because I have seen the happiness when people play together. I realized if somebody can help these people, they can be ambassadors to show their talent and to send a message to the whole world that we need peace. The athletes come from Kenya's two refugee camps, Dadaab and Kakuma, which are home to around 600,000 refugees. We were three people, two coaches. Uh, one of them uh, was, went to Kakuma, first time on uh, September. And I myself I went to Dadaab to select some athletes. Uh, and then uh, we organized a race. And then when we organize the race, to, yeah, like there we can run 10 kilometers, and then five kilometers. When we, we put these people to run together, then we select the best one. From the trials, 30 promising runners from the refugee camps were selected to move to the training center in Ngong and potentially change their lives forever. The first two months actually was to, for them to get used to the environment, for them to get used to the food, for them to uh, get used to each other, and also getting them, uh, getting used to like putting on um, training shoe, the right track. It also took a lot of time because uh, most of them preferred to run barefoot. When they were in a refugee camp, they were not running because they have never seen this thing in, in, in their history. And when they come here, they were not good runners. Really, I want to say they were not. Kakuma is very, very hot and it's flat, you don't go anywhere. They do not have a place to train. I start running fully. That was last year when we started the camp. When I came here, I knew this is very important for me that I could be able to achieve what I was dreaming for. But now I should have to play my role. Yeah, if I go this and what am I going to do? First, we had to teach the people everything. They were not used to gymnastics, they were not used to coordination, they came because they come from nowhere. We told them how to run, even when they come to the field. We have 800 meters, 400 meters. They did not know what is 400, what is 800, what is 300. But we, we came and teach them. In fact, it was a challenge. 
When I started the project, I thought, first of all, these are no runners, what can you do with these people? But now when you see the people, I can say you're very pleased. They are doing a very good job. From a person who's never been an athlete, to the state that they, they are today, there is so much a different and very hard working persons. We have good athletes and we have leaders. I wish to be a champion one day. That is what I'm fighting hard. That is what I always have in my mind. Aside from the challenges of coaching the novice runners, the foundation team also had to lend support to the young athletes, many of whom had suffered traumatic experiences along their journeys to becoming a refugee. When we started, it was almost like a dream. Um, that we were not very sure how it's going to work because we're also looking at how these young people are affected. They are so much traumatized because of the experience that they've had. You know, I can say we had sometimes the, the situation that, for example, one guy cannot stay here because he had lost all his family except one brother who's 14 years old. And then he says, I cannot stay here. My brother is alone in the camp. I have to go back. So the guy left us after three months. But I can say there, for each of them, there's a sad story behind. But when they came here, don't forget that these people, some of them, they come from different tribes. We had to, we had to counsel them because they did not, they, be, they come like, you are my enemy, I know you are Dinka, you are whatever, you are nowhere. And these are the people we are fighting with. Even being able to work together, to eat together, to train together, it required uh, a bit of uh, engagement in terms of counseling, trauma healing sessions for them. I stay as like a sister, a sister and talk to them, you know what, we are here as a family. We are now few chosen example that when we, we stick together, we run, we are looking for one call, we want to go to Rio. And when we go to Rio, our people who have been, just have their own different, they will see one thing. And that's solidarity that, that will show our people. Not all of the athletes at the camp will make it to the Olympic Games in Rio. For those who are not selected, training continues in Ngong as they set their sights into the future. Those people who don't go to Rio, uh, these people will have another future. So this means we are now aiming for these people to be maybe a part of the World Championship next year in London. So this means we have to give them also some other competition like all African games or other competition which can come that they also can show we are able to run. So we, we focus training and try to improve the people. These are the great talent, these are the champions that they show back that even though we are refugees, but we are good athletes. From the beginning, many of us were not even knowing their talent. And as you see now, they have already realized their talent and they know how running could change their life. Today, I see runners. I see Rhodesia here. Keep them one year. You'll have world records. I don't say anything. You'll have world records out of these people. I've seen the discipline. I've seen their family. And we have already overcome the cover of refugees.